on the ground. What is uh, the economic impact of being outside Schengen? Disaster. I know it sounds like it's not science-based, but it is disaster. I know this by fact. Every truck on the border, for every day that it's waiting, it's losing more than 200 euros to its owner. It means that hundreds of millions of euro per year are wasted waiting, not to mention the impact on the uh, border regions, the impact on the environment, uh, and, you know, for, for no reason at all. Bulgarian and Romanian trucks are waiting for a few days in Croatia in order to go home, and then uh, they have to wait on the way back. So they're spending one week on the borders only instead of earning money and delivering uh, goods. This is not an equal treatment comparing with the German, Austrian, French and Italian hauliers. And th the thing is that Bulgarian and Romanian trucks are the newest fleet in Europe. They can provide very good prices to their customers. And it's not fair to spend so much on nothing or waiting on the borders. And, and last but not least, the drivers, the people who are in the, in the trucks, they are living on the borders with no, uh, 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 no toilets, no, no facilities, food, no no, facilities no. Yeah. whatsoever. And they are living like this. You know what I did? My, my uh, Christmas Eve, I spent on the border. With really? The, on the, yes, I, I was on the borders, uh, on several borders, on the Bulgarian-Romanian one, on Bulgarian-Serbian one, and uh, Serbo-Croatian one. It's really sad to see so many people on Christmas sitting there and seeing their families only through the phones because someone is trying to get a few percents more on the election in Austria. This is not fair. This is not European Union that we're fighting for. Uh, Netherlands also had some um, questions uh, regarding uh, Bulgaria. Is this issue closed? Uh, are they um, really uh, now um, uh, sustaining you um, for entering into Schengen? No, no. I think uh, the biggest damage has been already caused in Bulgaria and in Romania because even if we enter tomorrow on land in Schengen, people will remember 10 years we've been waiting for nothing. We fulfill our requirements, we pay our duties, we protect our borders better than many others in the European Union, and we're still waiting outside. For what? So uh, this is something that should be uh, overcome in the years to come. But at the moment, even if we tomorrow enter Schengen, people will still remember that we haven't been treated equally as uh, citizens of the European Union. I know that some uh, products um, are not exported from uh, Bulgaria or Romania because um, they um, are not um, surviving, let's say, uh, at, the, at the borders. That's not normal also. This is not normal also, but uh, maybe we should uh, use the current situation uh, of frequent movement of military uh, personnel and uh, equipment, which shows how important it is to have a free movement between Romania and Bulgaria, because it's crucial for our defense capacity, and it's showing how we should function in peacetime as well. So I hope now, with all those funds who are, we are going to invest for military mobility, to build new highways, uh, uh, stronger bridges and wider tunnels, are going to support uh, our transport infrastructure for uh, free movement of, of goods. And finally, this is going to create a more sustainable uh, environment for, uh, for our transport uh, companies. Because in 2024, we are trying to explain people that we could not uh, import bananas because they are going to be ruined on the way to Bulgaria and Romania because they have to travel 10 days instead of three days, which is quite possible from Rotterdam, let's say, to Bucharest, if there is no senseless and useless border checks for nothing. It is important to, to give a message to the Romanian public in the end of our uh, discussion. You as, uh, as Bulgarian, please. Bulgaria and Romania depend on each other. 
our destiny has been the same and I think our future is going to be common and probably the same. Uh, I'm looking forward to grab that Romanian hand and walk together to, to the future, which definitely uh, belongs to us because I can see that in this part of Europe, uh, because of our past, we remained very stable partners, a very, uh, I would say, realistic point of view. And during the times that everybody was dreaming for uh, a green utopia, we remain steadily on the ground and people do appreciate that, even here in Brussels, in Germany, in France. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much.